Right, so I'm getting ready to replace the window regulator in my 2012 Ford Expedition and I'll show you what's involved with doing. Alright, so you're going to want to remove the negative off the battery. It's an 8 millimeter. Take that off. There's an airbag sensor in that door panel. This should be. Put that to the side, make sure it's tucked out of the way. Alright, so to get the door panel off, there is a Phillips screw in here. Um, there's a couple bolts under the door. There's one there, one there. There's a little trap door right there, and you need a, a pick to get the cover up. You see? Oh boy. It kind of just lifts up like that. There's two bolts under there. And right under the handle, there's another bolt right there. There's a little trap door. If you use a pick, it's loose, so it might fly out on you. So these are all 7mm sockets, there's two 7mm there, that one's a 7mm right in there. And then the ones underneath, that's a 7mm, that's a 7mm, and uh, like I said, you get this Phillips screw right there at the edge of the panel. So I'm going to zap all those off real quick. That one's not even tight. There's one right down here. And you get the spilled screw right here. And take that right out. Let's see if there's a lens that's coming out with it. So there's like some clips on this panel and we're kind of gingerly getting it up and out of the way. There you go. It just came free in the top. See, I've got to kind of jiggle it around a little bit and lift up, which I kind of knew. And uh, there's not like those plasticky uh, uh, clips, the push clips on the back of the store panel. It all kind of, I'll show you when we get it off what they look like. They're all like fingers and stuff. So now you've got to get in here and you've got to undo like the um, switch harness. And they just kind of push and pull off. Where's the other one? So you want to do all your connectors. And there's, yeah, there's one right there, right at the end there. And there you go. So now it should be free. So this is what the back side of the door panel looks like. Turn it around, Brian. So if you've ever taken a door panel off before, a lot of, a lot of times the door panels have those push pins. They always snap. What's nice about this Ford one is they kind of slide down and hook in, which I knew, but we're, I was kind of trying to be careful with it. And uh, you just kind of got to jiggle it around and then lift it up. The first thing you need to do is pop this out while you lift up. Is that what helped you? Okay. That's what, that was, that's what was limited from going up all the way. Okay. So just get a, an interior tool and pop that out. Yep. Okay, so there's four speaker bolts. There's one there, one there, one there, and one up here. And those are eight mil too, Brian? Yes. Okay. And there's like a squeeze clip on the back, so you just squeeze the tab and pull out. There you go. Okay, so we're going to remove the splash guide, and to do that, we're going to use a uh, putty knife to get under that plat that um, sticky jute rope, I believe it's called. You kind of gingerly pull it, peel it off. It'll come off a little easier using a putty knife like we are, so you don't stretch the rope. Um, you kind of want to keep it against the water guard, the plastic. And you don't stretch the plastic. And you don't stretch the plastic. <clears throat> there you go, it'll come off nice and easy and uh, it'll stick back in place for you. Hey, we're gonna get all this out of the way. 
you go. There's two size 15 Torx bits. Uh, screws you have to take out one here and one here uh, this hole held the uh, door panel on through the um, pull the door pull so I'm going to take this bracket off right now and I'm going to put it to the side okay, so we got to unplug the crash sensor here and I'm going to have to uh, put that onto the new window regulator but you pull the tab down and just kind of pull down on it Up, squeeze in and then pull down and it'll come unclipped and then we've got to... Okay, so you have to remove the harness from the window motor. You just kind of push down this tab. It should pull it right down for, for you. All right, so we've got to get this harness off of the um, assembly, the re window regular assembly, this whole plastic thing that's black. That's the whole assembly that holds us in. If you can believe that, it's huge. So we have a pry tool right here for interior pins, and this is what we're using so we don't break them. And then it's kind of like wedged under there. I think you can just flop that out of the way if we can get it untangled. There you go. There you just go. One wire at a time. Yeah. It's all out of your way. Then you've got to undo, take the uh, cable off of the door latch, and it goes in right there. And it's like you gotta gingerly do it. You probably can do it fine. I heard these break easy, so you gotta be careful with them. Okay. All right, now we've got to remove the door handle. Just gonna pry up and be careful and kind of swing the whole assembly over. It's kind of a dangle there. Now we've actually got to take out the window regulator and there's a whole bunch of, yeah, 10 mil bolts that bolted into place. Okay, so before we start to disassemble the window regulator <clears throat> assembly, you want to use some painter's tape to either go up and over the, the window frame hold your window up in a place and then you can lower it if you need to or adjust it um, i've got a couple of little guides right here that hold the window in the place so i just kind of push those in and um, my window shouldn't move anywhere while i'm working on this so right now we're loosening the 10 millimeter bolts holding the assembly in we cracked them all by hand first it's a hand ratchet and it's gonna make quick work with the impact gun here leave these in just loosen them up yeah it's not an impact gun, it's a much driver. Yeah, these are slotted, so these, that one there and the one on the other side, you can just leave them in. This is a bolt in there you want to grab to break it free from the window. And then there's one also right in here. I've loosened that one by hand. Just gonna zip it off. Now we're gonna hold the window back up into place. It's now we can take the window regula regulator out. And you might have to fit angle it a little bit, right, Brian? Yep. A Rubik's cube. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's kind okay. of close. So like that's that. the trick. Send it down. <laughs> Send it down. Scoop it up. And scoop it up. All right. These pads go under the glass, so that's what lifts it, and the weight lets it slide down when the cables let out. So when the new glass goes in. You know, this will be the last thing we tighten up once yep. it falls into position. Yeah, it's like a little clamp. It clamps it right in the place. Exactly. All right. All right, so we're going to put the new regulator back in, and we're going to kind of put it in the way it came out. Let's make sure your wire harnesses are out of the way. Take your time with it. Try not to get mad. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to do.
There you go. Get that bolt lined up. Then you got to line the other bolt up. Pull it right here. Excuse me, Brian. Let's show everybody. Uh, oh, so it's that one right there. Hey. So now, let's see. You want to make sure that those are in place under the window, the window guides. Mm -hmm. Are they all lined up? So we're going to put all these screws back in. Okay. Oh, was that on the back side? I think it yep. might have been, yeah. Okay. Yep. And start kind of loosely bolting the uh, assembly back into place. I'm gonna catch them all by hand. Do you know how many they were total? There's quite a few of them. That one. Catch the one down here. There's one over there. Let's put this plug down there, yeah, buddy. As you go along, just make sure everything's out of your way. Have to swing those up into the way, huh? Mm -hmm. Into position. Yeah. Tabs are really getting caught. You going? Yeah, it's all right. There's one more down there. So we're gonna stop pushing our harness into place. And then one came around the back side for your speakers. So putting the door handle uh, cable back into place along with the handle. It's back in like that. There it goes. So I've got to transfer over the crash sensor from the old regulator to the new one. Uh, this is a T25 Torx bit. So I'm going to remove these two and I'm going to transfer it over, put it on the new window regulator. All right, so we're putting our crash sensor back into place. Just take your time getting the uh, screws caught. It seems like that. They used to kind of self thread in there. That one, let's kind of torque them down evenly. Mm 
I'm gonna plug the rest of your harness back into place. Like that. You're gonna plug that back together. Like that. You're gonna snip the click. And that goes on the window motor. Make your click. Goes in the crash sensor. In. Okay. So at this point, we're going to reconnect the battery, uh, bring the door panel over, and connect in the switch. So we can bring the mechanism up to the glass and uh, bolt the glass into place. panel switch to bring the guides up in the place the window guides there's a couple of screws we got to get out on each one there's one right there and there's one on the other side and there are 10 also there's an access spot right there so let's take these pins out so we can lower the window yep and manipulate it there you go all right that one's in Okay, so now we've got the window up in a place, so Brian's reaching through the provision to tighten the, um, the guide, the window regulator guide against the bottom of the window. Yeah, it should be in, nice, firm. Yeah, you don't want to crank down it. <clears throat> so make sure it's snug. And then you can access the front. There's, there's two of them that clamp in place. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we can tighten these up all the way. My auto up works again. That hasn't worked in a while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of... You've got to retighten the bolts holding the window regular in place. You've got to put the speaker back in. It's like you put your, the rest of your harness back together, push it into place. Double check all your hardware. Yep. And you want to just use a ratchet like we are to tighten these up. You know, just make sure the snug, you don't want to crank down on them too badly. This one over there, this one up there, and there. Just do that. This one right there. Okay. And I think we could put the speaker back into place. There's full bolts that hold it in, a couple of wires. One, two, and uh, what are those eight millimeter, Brian? Uh, yeah, I had an eight mil out. Yeah, those are eight mil. Seven millimeter. Seven millimeter. I'm sorry. The eight millimeters the back. Yes, you are correct. And these are aggressive threads, so just barely tighten them in with this type of gun.
it's always good to try to remember where all these wires came through. And if you take it the way off we did, just gingerly, it'll be a lot less headaches. You want to put this back on and stick it back into place. It helps to keep the water from coming into your, your car and against the back of that door panel. So it serves a purpose. And personally, I just like to do the top and try to follow the original path yep. as best you can. And then, you know, from there, make sure that everything lines up. And now we're reminded we forgot a bracket. Oh, yeah, we got to put that um, bracket for the door pull. Yep. So we're in right there, right there. And then those uh, torques, and I've got that in my back pocket. There you go. That's a T15. That'll be sloppy. <laughs> And you can do this job yourself, but it kind of helps if you have a buddy. Right, Brian? Yep. Always. <laughs> Especially a buddy that brings donuts. Finish putting this back in place. All right, so now we just gotta hook up all of our accessories, uh, the tweeter, and then the locks, the power locks, the switches, window switches, and that right there. Uh, come towards me, Brian. Push that up in the place. Okay. I'll put that up in the place. And then let's see, you got a couple more. up like that and this gray one goes into bottom okay a little tug make sure they're all set should be good now you gotta hook all these hooks back into the place just to put the door panel on you gotta make sure your door lock goes up through it All right, so we got the door panel on. I'm gonna put my Phillips screw back into place and uh, a couple bolts down here and one in here and a couple in the door pull and it should be good to go.